Inverbus Virtus is a first-person puzzle game developed by Enzalmodus Games, taking place in a fantasy setting. The central gimmick in the game revolves around voice recognition. Specifically, the player must speak into their microphone to cast spells. Usually, video games that center their gameplay around a gimmick don't perform too well, especially when that gimmick revolves around a particular control scheme. I was especially weary about Inverbus Virtus because a different game with voice recognition that I had played earlier, There Came an Echo, had often dropped commands or simply registered them incorrectly. Though not once in my time with Inverbus Virtus did this occur, unless I had actually fumbled over a command. To my surprise, it actually turned out to be a really intuitive way to allow the player to switch between spells quickly without any menu navigation. To cast a spell, you simply hold down the left mouse button, recite the incantation, and release the button. The particular words used to invoke magics aren't English, but instead Mahaki, a fictional language of the game world. So for example, the first spell which will illuminate the area around the player is pronounced as Luma TL. At first, the control scheme might seem like an idiotic gimmick, just for the sake of being a gimmick. However, it quickly becomes easy to see why it provides a much more immersive experience and allows the player to switch between spells without having to go through any menus. Combat helps illustrate more closely why it provides a truly unique experience, as it forces you to not stumble your words under a stressful situation. With a more traditional control scheme, panic would never occur. This is especially true when you consider that by the end of the game, you have 10 spells with a total of 15 unique incantations to remember. Though if you ever do forget one, there is a journal containing all of the formulas. At its core, Inverbus Virtus is a puzzle game, a slow-paced one, more reminiscent of games like Myst as opposed to Portal. Each puzzle involves examining your surroundings, and sometimes reading documents to arrive to conclusions. Also similar to Myst, the areas are open instead of being absolutely linear. Exploration is a key component of the game because of this. On the topic of difficulty, it is again more like Myst rather than Portal. While not having some solutions be as obtuse as Myst, there are a number of puzzles that took me quite a while to solve. Despite this, none of them felt unfair. The difficulty curve was also really well put together. Puzzles early on will typically revolve around using one specific spell to get past an obstacle. Puzzles later on, however, often utilize the multitude of them, sometimes in quick succession of each other. The developers did a great job in not leaving early game spells unused for late game puzzles, with the exception of the very first spell which is only really required for a small portion of the game. For example, the Beam of Light spell, which is the second one acquired, has multiple applications from start to finish and the same logic applies to just about every other conjuration. Gameplay-wise, Inverbus Virtus is just about perfect for what it is. The major downside for me was performance. Whenever the game would load textures, I experienced slight stutters, which were mild and infrequent, though still annoying. Also, for whatever reason, it had only utilized around 40-50% to of my graphics card, despite occasionally dropping frames. Of course, this could just be an isolated issue. I couldn't find much on the issue, so your mileage may vary. Inverbus Virtus is honestly an amazing title that completely flew under my radar until recently, and quite frankly, it blew me away with how fun it is. Keep in mind, I'm the kind of person that typically despises gimmicks in video games, all the way from touch controls to VR. If you're someone looking for a puzzle game with a new experience, then give Inverbus Virtus a try. It is incredibly fun, though may leave you feeling a little silly as you constantly recite gibberish.